Hey everybody, Scout Crafty here again. Want to talk real quick about the uh, framing hammers. Now, uh, we can get into a hour discussion on framing hammers, but I want to do a real quick video specifically on this hammer that I just picked up. It's a, a Craftsman adjustable claw hammer that's on sale for Father's Day on Ace Hardware stores now. And uh, I want to talk typically about the average framing hammer. Most framing, the regular average hammer is something like this, about 16 ounces, regular claw hammer, bell face, uh, smooth face too. Uh, but uh, when you get into your framing hammers, they're a little bit longer typically because they're driving a framing nail, which is a nail that's meant to go through a 2 by 4 or so. And they're usually longer, stronger nails. And the newer nails, here's an older one, it's a regular typical nail, but the newer nails even have a waffled uh, head on them so that they can grip and they don't slip off Same thing with you notice most of these heads have waffle heads on them They also have some other features like magnetic uh, nail holder and whatnot But we're just talking about a few different features that I want to discuss on this particular hammer now uh, Here's an, an early Stanley that uh, this is one of the early with an old waffle uh, face hammer and you could see this had a lot of weight to it. And uh, carpenters typically would like these. They could drive a nail in with less effort. You know, one shot compared to two or three shots, depending on what kind of hammer you had. So uh, what I wanted to do is I want to talk about this, uh, this particular hammer that I picked up yesterday. Now, hammers have many different claw shapes. This is a one considered an extreme claw. Then you have your modified and pretty much a straight claw. Uh, this would be for more pulling nails where you can get under the nail and you could use leverage to pull it up. Uh, this one here, you could pull some nails. And this one here, uh, the framers like to be able to grab and stick into wood, pull wood over and things like that. That's why they, the California framers started with the uh, straight claws on the back of the hammers. Now, Craftsman came out with this hammer, the adjustable claw hammer, that you could use it in four different positions. By pushing in this little detent here and pushing it all the way down, you could start with that position and then you could work, it is uh, clicks for each one. That would be the second, the third would be up here, and then the fourth would be up here. And I'll show you what each one of those positions might be used for. If you had a small uh, area like this that you had to get under to use it as a pry bar to lift it up or whatever, and you want to use the claw of a regular claw hammer, you could see you might be restricted here because of the extreme claw hammer. Now you could use it with the modified hammer because it's not so you could get under there and pull back, but um, you'd have to get past this area. Whereas if you were using this uh, innovative craftsman design, you could fit it straight under here and you could step on it with your foot to raise a door or whatever you had to as a pry bar like that. Uh, very intuitive, it works very well, very strong. Let me show you another position. Many times we have restricted areas where it's hard to get a hammer in one way or the other. If you had to tap a nail or something like that or even to straighten it out, you could tuck in the uh, the claw back like that, and you can have uh, quite a bit of swinging space, and even you can get in underneath that way. So it gives you a little bit more of a compact profile. Uh, this here, if you put it out into your straight position, would be a typical claw if you had to pull nails out. You could pull it out like this, um, and I'll show you another position. This position here would give you a tremendous amount of leverage by slipping it into here, and then you could use all your leverage here above ground to pry up. So the claw is a really uh, a great design. The floor in this hammer comes with the striking head. The striking head, as you can see here, if you look very closely, it's curved. And I'll show you what the problem with that is. Now, this is a ball peen hammer. It's a carpenter's hammer, has a flat side and a dome side. The dome side was for tapping gaskets and things like that, but you would never try and drive a nail with a domed hammer because you would get some slippage either way. Well, it's the same thing with this hammer here. The engineers that designed this side so well obviously weren't carpenters because they never would have made a smooth domed surface. You could see the dome on that. And if you were to try and drive a nail in, as you're getting harder, it's going to slip off and that's just the nature of the beast. So we're going to fix that. The hammer's not useless. It is the way it is out of the factory, but we're going to 
We're going to grind that down, make it flat, and we're going to There's fix. a lot of ways we could do this. We can use a, a file and uh, put it in a vise. We can use an angle grinder. But I'm going to use my uh, belt sander here. I have a pretty coarse belt, and I'm going to constantly monitor the heat. You don't want it to get hotter than you could put on your hand. Uh, once you get about 400 degrees, you can change the temperature. <laughs> We are finished. Uh, took about 10 minutes on the belt sander, and you could see the profile is perfectly flat now. And this is the way it looks right off the belt sander, no polishing or anything. Nice and flat. That's exactly the way it should be. Again, without destroying any of this contour of, on the edge. You do not want to destroy this edge because if you make it sharp, it'll chip. So it's got a nice rounded edge totally flat in the middle this will drive nails wonderfully now much better than before so um this is a nice hammer i recommend it but not without that modification so this is a craftsman adjustable claw it's 14 and a half inches long 18 ounces heavy and it's a nice little hammer now that it's modified anyway hope that helps take care have a nice day bye bye